Продолжаем работу нашей сессии. Сейчас доклад звучит следующим. So we continue our session. And now the presentation will be on short-term and long-term results of the surgical treatment of non-small cell can uh, lung cancer after neoadjuvant therapy. experience in thoracic oncology results in the opinion widespread among surgeons that if the patients are not operated on, their lifespan will be sufficiently shorter. Uh, that concerns not only non-small cell cancers, but also more widespread cancer, and myself, I believe the same. And especially uh, disappointing is the fact that when a resectable tumor uh, is too difficult to operate on, Sometimes we know that technically the tumor might be removed, but the risk for this particular patient will be too great. There's been a lot of attempts to try to minimize the amount to be resected so that the patient could survive the surgery, or perhaps as a result of the therapy, make a resectable tumor out of the irresectable. We relied a lot on uh, chemotherapy, radio, radiation therapy, chemoradiation therapy, but the results were unfortunately disappointing. Also, it is very difficult and practically impossible to make an operable tumor uh, out of inoperable. I operated on two patients this month after interventions at other hospitals. However, it was possible to do that at our clinic and it might be that the incurable tumor will be uh, believed to be curable by someone else and the surgery will be without many complications and will have a good outcome. There are, of course, international recommendations that we try to follow, but the approach should be custom-tailored. I will be speaking about the results of my own uh, experience and the results obtained by my school about 15 years ago. We have introduced photodynamic therapy in our practice. Myself, at that time, I had a negative opinion of that uh, technology, uh, and I don't understand it in full up to this day. But now, uh, the younger surgeons, younger endoscopists, they have started to perform treatment on an individualized basis. Uh, the new generation of lasers was used quite a lot of uh, courses of treatment uh, were performed on many patients. Uh, these uh, courses were well paid. So at uh, 
some time the patients started to uh, receive that uh, dynamic therapy as a palliative uh, uh, therapy alongside with other methods. But suddenly quite a number of these patients uh, have demonstrated uh, transformation of their tumors uh, as uh, operable tumors. We have started looking for uh, papers on this subject where uh, the author the authors explain neoadjuvant and the bronchial photodynamic therapy and uh, the patients who were initially considered inoperable finally could uh, have had surgery uh, there are also works by Japanese doctors on neoadjuvant photodynamic therapy in preoperational period. There is n no analysis of the survival rates and characteristics of the patients are not given. Uh, still, uh, uh, there were uh, uh, some success was demonstrated. Uh, they compared the effect of chemotherapy and of chemotherapy combined with uh, endobronchial photodynamic therapy. And the, uh, our experience showed that preoperative endobronchial therapy improves resectability in initially irresectable or inoperable uh, non-small cell lung cancer. We understood that the plan of treatment for the patients suffering from central cancer uh, may receive neoadjuvant therapy and the bronchial and intraoperational photodynamic therapy and this could be done to the patients where uh, we aimed at lower amount of resection. The first group uh, for of the of patients uh, again they were with non-small cell cancer, lung cancer. And they were expected to have pneumectomy. And in the last two years, uh, we give them the test for a maximum oxygen consumption. And that makes uh, the decision, making the decision easier whether to uh, perform a new pneumectomy or not. Especially uh, that was uh, our concern was with the cases when the tumors invaded the lower third of the track uh, or uh, the intermediate bronchus was invaded and uh, bilobectomy was contraindicated. We used uh, a platinum containing uh, patterns, uh, uh, platinum containing medication, uh, and uh, performed endoscopic photodynamic therapy two to six cycles uh, following the uh, uh, dynamics. After uh, this polychemotherapy uh, and uh, uh, photodynamic therapy, 
uh, the patients uh, who were uh, recognized as the ones who could have uh, pneumectomy. Uh, here we have a list of uh, typical patients where the uh, tumor uh, spread over to trachea. That is the preparation of our patients uh, were treated in order to uh, perform lobectomy or bilobectomy instead of pneumectomy uh, or lobectomy instead of bilobectomy or pneumonectomy uh, instead of uh, pneumonectomy with the resection of a part of the trachea. Uh, three patients uh, had lobectomy before uh, on the left hand side and they uh, could not survive or could not tolerate pneumectomy on the right hand side. Uh, seven patients uh, had uh, pulmonary emphysema and there were changes in the opposite lung. Five patients uh, had uh, reduced product of the left ventricle. Uh, the majority of patients had squamous cell uh, lung cancer. Some of them uh, 3D category. With the number of patients there was a remission uh, but some of them also showed remission after chemotherapy and photodynamic therapy. Uh, this is uh, what we could have uh, prior to uh, therapy and after therapy. Or like this. Or here you see lesions for pneumectomy. And the second slide, you see that lobectomy may be indicated in this case. Uh, again, pneumectomy on the left hand side before. And the same has got to be done on the right hand side, but after neoadjuvant treatment, uh, the scope of the operation will be reduced to lobectomy. Out of 38 patients that we had, we didn't perform surgery on six of them, uh, and 32 of them were operated on. Uh, two of them, uh, nothing could be done, so the um, uh, thoracicectomy was only for diagnostic purposes. Uh, with uh, some of them, there were uh, changes in the mucosa because of uh, metastasis spread uh, uh, via the lymph, and there were two patients with N2. It is not very often that we can reach this degree. These are the clinical examples. This is the patient from the last year. Uh, uh, now and then, before and after treatment. Here you see it in the mediastinum. Another focal point in the lobe of the lung. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, during bronchoscopy. 
and after the adjuvant treatment, we performed lobectomy on him. Another patient against squamous cell uh, cancer, lung cancer, lower lobe before and after treatment. Here we had to perform pneumectomy, but the patient could not survive it. That's why neoadjuvant therapy was used. Another patient, 57 year old, squamous cell lung cancer. You, we can see here that uh, the tumor has become significantly smaller. And there you can see also the uh, combine, uh, that we performed combined eumectomy with resection of the left atrium. One patient died. He had very severe complications. But what is surprising, and we cannot explain that, uh, survival rate in the post-op period was very high. All the patients received post-op therapy, and uh, of course uh, the bronchus stump was also treated, and the patients, seven of them who were operated after 2013, are still alive. Our conclusions. We are convinced uh, that the neoadjuvant therapy, uh, if performed by a skilled person and to a properly selected patient, it can really help. And our pessimism with which we met it when phytodynamic therapy was first introduced, now has transformed into optimism. Several days ago, I received the letter of merit from the Ministry of the Minister of Healthcare. And I would like to show you how the word thoracic is written here with, uh, with an obvious mistake in the text. And I think that we deserve that the people at the ministry know how to spell this word in the right way. Now, questions, please. Very interesting results. How did these tumors look after surgery in the slices of the removed uh, the tumors? Microscopic morphological analysis. In fact, I didn't myself uh, study them under the microscope. But you know what happened? Uh, the tumor mass uh, was substituted with fibrous tissue. Or oh, sometimes we cannot even by palpation. We could not determine what, whether that is a tumoral tissue or fibrous tissue. A small number of patients. So congratulations on your letter of merit from the ministry. How did you plan the lines for resection before surgery? Did you use uh, ultrasound or eye scan or uh, only 
you try to determine that out of your experience using your own eyes or hands, fingers? How did you measure your success? Well, for instance, the infiltration area was moved. Well, you are right, this is not an easy task, but today the endoscopist can pretty accurately assess uh, where the edge of the tumor is located, or at least he may suspect or suggest something. We use fluorescent markers and uh, with photosensibilization, if you radiate it with blue light, it starts uh, scintillating. The same work has been done at the Institute of Oncology, uh, Petrov's Institute of Oncology. They started that work together with Canadian um, scholars. Uh, this has not yet stopped, but that makes it possible to determine where the edge of the resected area should be uh, pretty accurately. On the sidelines of the conference, nobody tries to determine where the edge of the tumor should be. They have become more confident of their vision. And maybe that is poor, that is bad, we shouldn't do it. However, uh, this happens in the situations when you just cannot cut more. A very good presentation, interesting results. Don't you think that the clinical stage before the operation, it is too long because we know that at the clinical stage, uh, when even when the lymph nodes are enlarged, uh, the randomized studies uh, show full regression only on for two or th four percent. So it means that uh, this therapy and might be chemo radiation therapy are not that effective. Yes, and I have uh, seen uh, the papers where it was said that uh, phytodynamic therapy uh, may even uh, cure the tumor. I don't believe that, but still there is a, uh, an opinion that it may improve the condition of the patient drastically. Since you don't have any recurrences or relapses of the illness in the bronchus, perhaps you should just watch them longer. Maybe you shouldn't wait. Yeah, that could be, uh, but in this case, we'll have to leave and go to the ministry because that would be against all principles in cancer treatment. Could you tell us, please? Uh, you had all patients with the enlarged lymph nodes uh, in the pre-op period. Was there any morphological analysis of the lymph nodes? No, not one patient. 
How did you know then whether they had metastasis or not? We didn't. We uh, made our conclusions only as a result of MRI. We have MRI, we have ultrasound, and I am against uh, morphological analysis at the pre-op stage. We, ha we had two, quest uh, two patients with giant cell cancer.